and welcome to the amazing One Stop Science Shop, the place where we try to answer all your science related questions. I have a question. It's Nagomi from Osaka. She wants to know how simple building elements can be put together to create architecture. You must have heard of the Eiffel Tower or the Empire State Building, but what about the Mercy Tower? If you haven't heard about it, I'm going to tell you why it's so special. It's made entirely of paper. And now, I'm going to show you how to make one. Let's play architect today. We have to plan and construct a tower using an A4 size sheet paper, a ruler, scissors, pen, and tape. I've decorated my sheet with lines, but you could go with plain or other patterns. First of all, I'm going to cut three strips out of the sheet around one inch wide. This is for the base of our tower. Now I'll cut two more strips out of the remaining paper. One slightly bigger and one slightly smaller. I'm gonna take the three strips of equal length and fold them twice so I can make a straw-like structure and tape the ends. I'll do the same for each of the strips. I'm going to take the bigger strip of the two for the tower and fold it in three again. And do the same for the last strip. This will form the base of the tower. Fold in two and tape the ends and in the middle. Now to build our base, we need some more tape. First, tape the two triangular straws together. Then tape the third straw with the other two. Now tape the longer straw on top of the base. Make sure it's glued well to the base. I'm going to cut some more strip of paper and glue the base together to give it more strength. To complete our tower, I'm going to place the rest of the tower on top and tape it together. There you go. I present to you the world famous Mercy Tower. Let me try and explain the science here. The tubular structure makes the building act like a hollow cylinder. It resists external forces acting on the building like wind or vibrations in the ground. When you make your tower at home, remember to experiment with different kinds of paper, colors, and see how high you can go. Have a look at what you need. A4 size paper, a ruler, scissors, pen, and tape. There is so much science in architecture and so much beauty too. The Mercy Tower is officially now open to visitors. We have our first visitor. Let's find out who it is. Wow, this is amazing. Hey there. Hi. Come on in. Welcome to the One Stop Science Shop. My name is Mercy. What's yours? I'm Kiara. So what grade are you in? I'm in sixth grade. And what do you do in your free time? Uh, I like singing and dancing. All right. Do you have a song for me? <laughs> Maybe later. <laughs> and what kind of dancing do you like? Uh, any type of song, any type of dancing. So what brings you here today? I have a project in school about earthquakes. So I thought the One Stop Science Shop would be the perfect place to come. Earthquakes? That's interesting. I have a quick fact. Earthquake prone zones are divided into five zones around the world. Zone 1 being the least prone and zone 5 the most dangerous. But there's a person who can tell us a lot more. Do you want to find out? Yeah, sure. Let's have a look. This is Fazlur Rahman Khan. He was born in Bangladesh in 1929. Khan's due date was supposed to be the 1st April, April Fool's Day. But he decided to wait for not one, but two more days just to play safe. He was brought up in a small village where his father was a high school math teacher and a writer of textbooks that Khan learned from. His mathematical learning inspired him to study engineering and a scholarship took him to the United States where he studied applied mechanics and structural engineering. Khan was awestruck by the high-rise buildings in America and was fascinated to try and develop new ways to build them. His solution to the 1950s population explosion was simple. Build higher. Khan's central innovation in skyscraper design and construction was developing the idea of the tube structural system. 
Each building is designed to act like a hollow cylinder, cantilevered pendicular to the ground in order to resist lateral loads such as strong winds or seismic shifts. Ultimately, this meant greater stability and strength and higher and more interestingly designed buildings. Most buildings over 40 stories constructed since the 1960s have used some form of a chip design derived from Kant's structural engineering principles, which provide greater interior space and facilitate a greater variety of building shapes. Kahn was also the first architect to use computers to aid construction design. In 1982, Kahn unfortunately died aged 52 from a heart attack. But he had already designed numerous buildings in the US, Dubai and Bangladesh. The world's tallest tower is currently the 829 meter tall Burj Khalifa standing in Dubai. It is based on, you guessed, it's a tube structure. This man really did change our modern world. That was interesting. But wouldn't it be amazing if all the buildings were named after the designers? Yes, but in that case, all skyscrapers would be called Rahman. That is true, but apart from skyscrapers, aren't earthquakes a menace for buildings everywhere? And do you know what's the name of the device that's used for measuring earthquakes? Uh, uh earthquake? Meter. Well, they should call it that, but it has a slightly fancier name and it's called a seismograph. Wow, that is a fancy name. So scientists use a seismograph to measure the motions of the Earth's surface. But you know what? There's nothing really so fancy about the device. We can even make one right here. Really? Yes. Do you want to help me make one? Sure. I've got everything we need in my one-stop science box. Let's see what's in it. We have a box. Pen, a ruler, a ball of rubber bands, strips of paper. Now let me get rid of this and we'll get started. First of all, we're going to take the box. Leave approximately one inch from each side of the box and mark it. We'll carefully cut it. You might like to ask an adult to help you. Now we have to cut a slit right here in the middle portion of the bottom. So we'll just mark it out first and join. Remember that the width of the slit should be a little more than the paper width. So yeah, I think we're good to go. So we'll do the same thing on the other side. Now we have something fun to do with the rubber bands. Take two, and we're gonna loop it together. Now pull out the small loop and go through the big loop and pull them apart. So join enough rubber bands to make a long length of a little more than a meter. Once it's long enough, we'll join the two ends. Let's have a look at the pen. What we've done is we have taped a roll of paper around it and taped it together. We're going to use it like a pendulum so it needs to have some weight. Now let's get our box back and we're going to wrap the rubber band around it. Put it around the box. Now you have to keep in mind that the two bands in front need to intersect right at the middle. We're going to insert the pen. Till a point where it slightly grazes the surface. We're going to slip our strips of paper. When I say go, you slowly keep pulling the strip of paper out. Okay. And I'll try to simulate an earthquake. see what we got. That looks like an earthquake. <laughs> that looks like a lot of activity there. In a proper seismograph, when there's no activity, you get a straight line. But as soon as an earthquake hits, there'll be a lot of activity and lots of lines. Let's try this out with a seismograph I made earlier. 
So in this one, I have a base which acts as the surface of the earth. So when we simulate the motion of an earthquake, we'll see what the results we get. And here we go. But that would have been a major earthquake. So it works. That was a rocking experiment. You can try this at home. So have a look at what you need. Box, scissors, cutter, pen, ruler, ball of rubber bands, strips of paper. Kara, I hope you had fun making this. Yes, I can't wait to show it to my friends. That's wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope to see you again next time with more exciting science-related questions on the One Stop Science Shop.